Chef Elizabeth and today I'm going to be showing you how to take one of your favorite cocktails and turn it into a holiday cocktail, a cranberry mojito. So the first thing we're going to do is start out with six cranberries. I'm making a slightly bigger batch so I have a few more. We're going to put that in the bottom of our glass. Then we want half of a lime quartered. Um, we're going to take one lime, cut it in half, then just take your knife, cut it in half again, and one more time. Then we're going to add just a little bit of lime juice because we want a little more lime in there. It's one of the key flavors in a mojito. That should be enough there. Then we're going to add two herbs. So my choice for this festive drink is just a little bit of rosemary and we're going to put just a few little teeny pieces of rosemary in the drink. We don't want too many because it's a powerful flavor. Then we're going to add a little bit of mint. That's the classic flavor in a mojito. So I'm going to pull off the leaves here of this nice mint plant. And this is fresh, locally grown mint, so it's going to be wonderful for the drink. So we'll put that on the top. And our final ingredient for this portion of the drink is going to be sugar. And we're putting quite a bit of sugar in the mixture because those cranberries are going to be sour and bitter and we have a lot of lime juice in there. Now we're going to muddle the mixture. This is a muddler and it's just a tool to be able to squish stuff into the bottom of the glass. If you don't have one of these, you can use the back side of a whisk or a really thick wooden spoon. We're just going to take this and press down. The juice is going to come out of those limes and those cranberries are going to burst. And it takes a little bit of effort there we go. That was a good one. And we're breaking up those herbs too. So we're going to get a lot of flavor into our drink. So I have a nice mixture here that's totally muddled. Now we're going to add a little cranberry juice because that'll give us a lot more cranberry flavor. And you just want one and a half ounces or so. If you like more cranberry, put more cranberry in and then one and a half ounces of white rum. We're making a slightly bigger batch, so I should put a little bit more rum and a little bit more cranberry in there. There we go. Okay, so now we've got all the ingredients in here except for the soda. We add the soda last because if we add it to our shaker, it can expand or froth too much and we can end up with a mess. So I'm gonna add my ice to fill this glass as best as I can without spilling. And then we're going to top it with the top part of our Boston shaker. So a Boston shaker is two glasses, a glass glass and a metal glass that fits on top. It seals nicely with it. So we're going to take this, put it on the top, give it a couple of taps. It's sealed. We're going to flip it over and shake until it's cold to the touch, ice cold and you vigorously shake it. So if it's not hard work, you're probably not doing it right. <laughs> okay, I think this is shaken well enough. It's very cold to the touch and you can see there's some fog that's forming on my metal glass. So we're gonna unseal it by making a fist and just pounding gently, there we go to make it let go. Then, rather than straining the drink, we're actually going to pour the contents directly into the glass. So I'm going to pour a little bit in here, a little bit in here, a little more in here, and then we're going to take this, fill it all the way up with ice, and then we'll top it with our soda. Okay, perfect amount of space for soda. So we'll just add that to the top. And then we're gonna garnish it with our prepared little skewers of cranberries. So put one of those in there. And then one of my things that I like the best, whoops, is a sprig of mint. 
So we'll just pull off the top piece, stick it inside the glass. And there you have it, the perfect cranberry mojito, a holiday drink that your friends will come back for again and again. Delicious.